Welcome to the video that perfectly demonstrates my obsessive need to plan 99.9% .9 of my life even though only 2% of what I actually write comes to pass. I fix my hair. Hi everyone and welcome to the video. Um, Happy New Year! New Year, again, is my favorite time of the year because it's noisy and as much as I like my tranquility and peace and quiet, there's something about the world going nuts for one minute that makes New Year a very special time of year. So we have that. Also, if you're wondering why I did the whole thing, even though I rarely do that, um, I woke up and I felt really confident. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna waste 30 minutes of my life trying to fix my appearance. Because why not? So I know you've read the title, and do I need to explain any further? Not really, but this is actually going to be my first ever attempt for a bullet journal. So I've been doing journaling for a while now, and this is actually my journal for 2020. It's actually a gift, so anything that's free, I will freely take. And this one has a page for every single day of the 300. Was last year a leap year? Hey Google, was 2020 a leap year? Okay, so 2020 was a leap year. This planner actually had 366 pages dedicated just for each day. And personally, I don't need that. Honestly, it is kind of a waste of paper. So I do feel bad, so. All I genuinely need is, uh, so this is my December one, which you can barely see. Also, I don't want you seeing my plants, but this is all this is all I need. And it's really hard for me to find a journal that I actually like and that I could actually use. So that's why we're doing this. And so, let the bullet journaling commence. Okay, let's go. So here's what we'll need to make our bullet journal. So I have this extra notebook that I got from Muji. It's the A5 size white 90 sheets dotted ring notebook dotted paper polypropylene cover. Yeah, it's just an extra notebook that I have from, you know, school, but I never got to use. So I realized I might use it right now. I also have three Tombow pens. They're in the colors I forgot, so I will just link it down below again because I genuinely forgot. Now I also have this foldable ruler from Muji again. And now we also have this Muji mechanical pencil. I feel like you're getting a theme here. I also have these two Muji sort of gel pens. One is in 0.5 and 0.38. The reason why I have two is because my handwriting sucks in 0.38, but it's the most helpful. So that doesn't really explain why I have two. It just works, it just works, okay? And also previously I did do sort of a list of what I want my bullet journal to have. So I have, you know, an idea of the flow of everything. So now just open your notebook. And I actually did sketch a sort of front page and it just says, Hello 2021, because that seemed like the most appropriate thing to say to 2021. Hello, maybe welcome, but hi sounds kind of too informal, so I guess hello works well. Now, in my idea, or at least in my mind, this type of lettering worked really well, but mine sucked. So I will change that later on. I'm really sorry about that. And I also put my name at the bottom just in case I forget my name someday. So we have that. And after you finish the front page, we move on to this page, which is, I forgot what this is called, but it's apparently a very important page. So essentially what you wanna do here is get a ruler and you sort of just want to make a bunch of lines and even number how many dots or spaces you have in your notebook. Now, the reason why this is really helpful is because in the planner, you actually make a lot of boxes and a lot of divisions onto each page. So you don't wanna have to count every single dot that you have in every single page over and over again. So having a reference really just helps you sort of do the math. So for this one, I did the mid section of the page and the half section of the page. I also did horizontally two divisions, three divisions, and then four divisions. And then vertically, I did three divisions, four divisions, five divisions, and then six divisions. Next is my year in the calendar. No, that was wrong. Next up is my year calendar. So in here, I just really want to have an idea of the whole year in a way. Initially, I wanted to make boxes for it, but then I realized that that'll make it a little too chaotic and 
sort of tight so I decided to not put any boxes and just make it into this fashion if that's not for you then understandable and have a nice day so a little tip to help you make this sort of process faster is to actually plot first the first day and the last day of the month January 1 is a Friday and January 31 is a Sunday and so you just put that and then do the same for Feb March April and May so that you won't have to keep referring to your calendar if you got the dates right now for the next page I actually have a January thing that I really wanted to put but the problem is I cannot do art so I'm just gonna do that off camera later on because I suck at it next we have our sort of planner for the whole month of January now I'm telling you the reference page really is important because it did help me sort of divide these two pages into the amount of boxes or weeks that I needed so you see I'm telling you, the reference page is very helpful. Now for the month of January, I know that a lot of people sort of divide their Wednesday or a day in a week into two pages, but for me, I really wanted to do it differently. I wanted three days on the left page and then four days on the right page. I don't know how to explain it, but there we have it. Also for this one, similar to the year calendar, I was thinking of putting boxes, but I saw a peg on Pinterest and, and it's really great. I like this way better. Now for the word January, I wanted to do something different. So I remember that I had this sort of craft stick paper and I just wrote the word January on it and then cut it in a very fancy way. And then all I did was I just stuck it there and it looks very pretty, I swear. Also, full respect to people who like starting their weeks on a Sunday, but personally, Monday just makes much more sense. That was a lot of M's. Now for the next one, this is the monthly habit tracker. So I didn't really necessarily have to do this, but I like the idea of sort of having a tracker for my habits which is essentially what this page is all about. But all I did is I created a really long line and this is me flexing my ability to create a straight line in one go, although it's out of focus, but I'm pretty proud of that. And I just put vertically all the days of the month. So one to 31 for January. And then horizontally, I put sort of letters that sort of represent each habit that I want to track. And D is for devotions or my daily devotions. W is for workout. M is make a meal. Y is a YouTube upload. R is read a book. And P is pamper day. And C is clean my room. And also I just put a summary at the bottom. Now for the next part, this is the budgeting, which is kind of a fail, but I mean, I'm showing it anyways. And I just really want to be able to track my expenses and my income for every single month. The problem is ever since the quarantine happened or the pandemic happened, I just stopped doing that. And I, I would just sort of spend and spend without calculating how much I've actually spent in a month. And the great thing about budgeting or, you know, having a tracker for your expenses and income is that it makes you spend less and makes you want to save up more. So I think it's just really helpful. Now, the thing is, I didn't exactly like the outcome of the habit tracker and the budgeting. So I actually went on to do February, which is really hard to pronounce, and then the planner page as you can see I did put a legend and a main goal as well and we have the track my habits monthly or the monthly habit tracker and my budgeting so all I changed for the habit tracker is the title although you know you could always interchange the title also I accidentally used the wrong color for the horizontal sort of habits and you know what it's okay and that's the beauty of a bullet planner because you can make mistakes and know that you could do better next month and for the budgeting I named it Julia, please save because genuinely I'm really bad at saving. Although there is sort of a notion or a connotation that Asians are very good at saving, specifically Chinese people. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one aware of that notion. Maybe it's not actually a notion after all. I also did pre-write the legend so that I have codes for, you know, my expenses. So a sort of triangle facing the right is for YouTube because you know the YouTube logo. Circle is for food because it reminds me of a plate and a note is for entertainment because music and then a square is transportation because somehow cars look like squares or rectangles and star for personal because I didn't have any more symbols to use so we have that. Now for this one I feel like the mistake that I did for the January monthly budgeting is that I did use a very bold black pen for the lines but for this one I just used the lighter Tombow pen and there we have our bullet planner. 
Hello and welcome to the run through of my first ever bullet journal, I guess. Also, I'm aware that I do need to cut my fingernails. I am gonna cut them right after this video, I promise, okay? So this is essentially the notebook, a very interesting blank page, and hello 2021. And I have my name here just in case I forget that this journal is mine. So in here we have the page that, that I can't really explain, but we have that. And here we have our year calendar or how the whole year is going to look like. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of this page. Then we flip over to January and that's the first month of the year. That's all I could say about this page. Also, I have my legend here. Now for the legend, I actually make a sort of normal, typical bullet for a task. And then when I cross out that bullet, it means that the task is done. An open, uncolored circle for an event and a star for priority. And if something is canceled, then I just cancel it out. I only put three boxes here. Although in all honesty, I actually have more goals. Don't worry, I actually have hopes and dreams in my life. And on the next page, we have the very ugly version of the habit tracker and budgeting. Honestly, February is a very hard word to say if you say it over and over again. Why is there an R in February? Can it just be February? I don't know. Who invents words? Again, I'm very proud of this. It's honestly just the same. And now the very, I mean, not beautiful, but a better version of the habit tracker and Julia, please save page. I think it's nice. I think that these things actually do make a lot of difference. It sort of masks the reality that you have no art skills whatsoever. So there goes our planner and here is March. Oh, sorry. Here is March and I don't actually have anything for it yet. People are really aggressive when they're driving. They should really chill. Oh. So I hope that this video has proved to be um, useful or useless. Either way, I'm good with it. But if you are planning to sort of be an expert in time management, I do highly recommend having a journal or a planner because it really helps you see how much time you have and how much time you don't have which sounds really sad and depressing. Disregard that, but it really helps you see how many days you have to do certain tasks and your limitations in terms of doing tasks. So that's essentially the video. Thank you for watching. And again, happy new year. And I know that 2020 sucked, maybe this much, but 2021 is very hopeful. So I'm excited to make more videos with you. Also, I forgot to say 3000. Thank you, you guys. Honestly, 2020 has got to be, so far, the best and worst year of my life. First of all, I really think my ventricle community, it's a very weird thing to say. We started 2020 with less than a thousand subscribers, but right now we're at 3,000 and that is amazing. I can't believe that there's 3,000 of us, but all I want to say is I love you all from the bottom of my hypothalamus. I don't know what to say anymore apart from bye, so bye, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna cut my nails.